Nate Goyard. Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial video for the shard editing. First go on the project settings, turn out everything to these settings. Then after this, to hold Alt Z and then drag up. I'm gonna move my indent real fast. Okay. After this, we gotta make the song, like make the glitch sound of the song. So I'm gonna cut it right when the beat drop is. And then go one, two, three. Keep on going three back until you wanna stop. You would just stop where I stop if you wanted. Uh, when you're done with that, delete every other one, like how I do. Now you can hear that glitch sound. Okay. Now we're gonna put. Now we're gonna put the clip to 30 seconds. 30 frames, my bad. And then we're gonna add edge text. So type edge detect in this, your DaVinci Resolve search bar. You'll find it. Turn to gray style edges, grayscale edges. And then turn to what color you want. After that, go into color tab. And then add alpha output. Drag that line to there. Find the circle. And then just put what you like. Always put softness to five. And then adjust just to what you want. I'll be back when I'm done adjusting this. Okay, now I'm going to add the swirl. I'll put it down in the description so you guys can download it. Okay. Cut right where it like starts to fade, fade down. And then cut it down like that. You're gonna have to go to the fusion tab and then add delta keyer. Okay, now you can see it's blending in with it. Go to the color tab and then go to gain, then do what color you want. Just drag to what color you want. You see it's kind of working now we haven't added the the cuts yet for the clips i'm just gonna adjust this a little more just adjust to what you like i like that okay now we're gonna cut the clip watch watch when i cut it cut it where every song cut is see this song cut Oh no, my bad. I'm not cutting this yet. Okay, we go into color tab. Go 15 frames before before the effect happens. And then we're going to put shadows and color boost. Drag it all the way down. Oh, go 15 frames back and then type 0 on both of those. Always remember to just adjust what to what you want to do. It doesn't always have to be perfect. Same as mine. Okay, now after I replay it, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna start cutting the clip. You can you can add the warp after. If you want to add the warp now, it's gonna be like laggy. So and follow you guys gotta check out Charlie FN. I used his warp. Really good warp. If Charlie sees this. Okay, just cut it where the song cuts are. Keep on cutting it where the song cuts are. 
Don't cut the warp though. I cut the warp here because I'm stupid. And then delete to what the clips are. I always remember to cut the spiral too. Because you don't want the spiral when the black happens. Delete where the song is in our. Just, if you see this song cuts, like just make the same song cuts as the video. That should be looking good. Yep. After that, you gotta add your impact. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show my impact right now because I might make a video on that. I'm just gonna do one of my impacts. Always remember to have your playback mode on the lowest because you don't want it to be laggy. It still will be laggy if you have plugins in though, and the free version. So now get the shard. I'll put this in the description, put the shard here, and then just drag the lines. Yeah, we gotta delete all the keyframes before, because I accidentally did something that didn't do it right. So, delete all the keyframes, and then go first keyframe, go that keyframe, go to 30 frames, put it to zero. And do the same for glow. So delete all the other keyframes. Put it back to two. Keyframe. Go to 30. Put it to zero. Now, it's probably going to be laggy because we haven't rendered it yet. But we can check what it is. And put what color you want. See the hue? Hue shift? That's the color. So for the glow. And the glint. Put what color you want. I'll put red because my body glows wet. Red. It looks good right now. Now I'm going to add the warp. Because I feel like the warp just adds better texture and stuff. Better qualities. It's really laggy though. Yeah, so that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.